Okay, welcome. I decided since we've been sick for oh about a week here, I would make my own frames for the traps. I had the copper piping in the garage. All I had to buy was the tees and a cutter and a couple things. About twenty dollars worth. It's designed so mine will bump right in right there. The back of mine will dump right there and then run down this unit. This is already set at 8 inches but what I did do was I made a couple pieces so that I can raise it up from 8 inches to 7 inches to 6 inches. Um, the legs themselves will come off for easy transport but I think it's a heck of an idea it's very lightweight now I just need to solder everything together except for right here where the legs come on The only place I won't solder so you can pull the three legs off put it inside the tub and make it real easy for for packing actually it'll sit right on the back of my sluice box the whole complete unit with the pump and everything and I'll go in one then when I get there all I have to do is take the little trap out put the legs on it set the little trap in the frame bumper it to the back of mine and I'm ready to go so I thought because we were sick for a week and really can't do anything outside I had all the parts and pieces just had to buy a couple things so today will be solder day it's made to fit so that the trap fits perfectly inside that frame I wanted a tight as fit as possible and I achieved that. And here is that prospector's choice. Still sitting here. Must return that to Silver Hoarder one of these days. And then I have another frame to build because I have two of the traps. So once I get this all soldered together and figured out where I want to put it and some heights then I will start on the next frame for the other little trap I would like to bumper that other little trap to the bottom section here and have this box dump into the second little trap is the whole idea so lightweight frame seems to be where it's at and we've achieved that thanks for watching